Welcome back to Just Nigeria from the BBC and Channels TV. I'm Ajake Holotse. Thanks for staying with us. Coming up. The musicologist promoting the learning and performance of African music in the UAE. But before that. In Somalia, the cut leaf is chewed as a stimulant and it's popular with Somalis around the world. But despite its popularity, this leaf has been declared illegal by many countries. This has made cut farmers over the border in Kenya suffer huge losses due to the pandemic and a diplomatic spat between their country and major consumer, Somalia. Now, some of these farmers are turning to sunflower to supplement their incomes. Others are more reluctant because cut is such a fundamental part of their culture. Ferdinand Omadi reports from Meru in eastern Kenya. A healthy harvest awaits Lois Gatwiri, and she badly needs the money. Last year, the mother of two lost her job at a private school during the COVID-19 pandemic. She had to go back home, but her community was also suffering financially. The farming of cart, also known in Kenya as Mira, is a mainstay of the local economy. But a diplomatic spat and then COVID-19 restrictions meant that farmers could no longer export to Somalia, where the crop is widely used as a popular herbal stimulant. It's also been banned in the UK and many European countries in the last few years. If you are farming brand, then you obtained and went to plant sunflower. If you didn't get the cash from Mira, then that season you're in a position to get some cash from the sunflower. Lois is one of about 3,000 farmers who have diversified into sunflowers. But it's been a tough task to get the community on board. In this part of the country, cut isn't just a cash crop. It is embedded in the culture of the people, and so many farmers would be unwilling to approach it. However, as is evidenced here, it is quite possible for the sunflower and cut to grow and thrive side by side. And it's an initiative supported by environmentalists too. Uh, more often, they grow maize, but because of shifting seasons, erratic rainfall, and uh, generally, those are uh, uh, the manifestations of climate change. They, they, they never harvest. So we have been trying to discuss with them what alternative crops we could bring them. In search of a steady market, the farmers have struck a deal with a major food manufacturer based in Kenya. It uses sunflower seeds for the products it sells across more than 15 countries. We said we guarantee the market. We, take, we give them off-take contracts. Again, they need to see proof of concept that are you really buying? And that became a crux. Now what we're saying is we're guaranteeing a price before they plant. The manufacturer says the current demand for sunflower oil is actually more than existing farmers can meet. And that demand could grow further in Kenya because of lifestyle changes since the COVID-19 pandemic, according to research group Euromonitor International. All good news for the farmers here in eastern Kenya who hope that the sunflowers will be bringing them a brighter future. Remember the song, All Things Bright and Beautiful. That best captures the sunflower.